Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Belelish and in today's episode we are going to venture inside the volcano. We are in dire need of some gold so we can get our chemical base going for in-game stuff. We are also going to scout out a possible site for a base. I'm not sure where to build yet but if Nefrikari is the character to go forward we will build a big base in the volcano so you might just keep an eye out on where to build. Nefrikari, as of late, has a mind and a heart of metal, so we are going to take golems to help us in this adventure. We got this brand new automaton stand. I thought you could store actual complete automatons here, but it's basically to store pieces of them, which is quite cool. Doesn't serve the purpose I was intending them to be, but also got this fancy little blood crystal container. Bit overkill because I don't have that much blood crystal, but we might head to the Kurak dungeon sometime to get some more. To, to help us on our quest today, we have this guy all set up. Let's just craft him. He has a sickle because that's the weapon we had from one of the arms we found in the den, so... We'll just make it nice and easy for us, and instead of crafting pieces, this this guy is completely done by stuff we got by chance. So, okay. You can follow me, buddy. Okay, we need to go get Corpse Smear, because we do not have the obelisk in the volcano yet. We also don't have the one in the um, Black Keep, so we're going to go through that area and get both of them. This is the other guy we are going to take with us. He's not full health, that's a bug. He should be a little bit damaged, but I think he's good enough to get us going. Let's start heading towards the Black Keep then. We are crossing the Bridge of the Betrayer right now. That means the Obelisk is just right ahead. We might kill some skeletons in this area to see if we can get some more Weathered Skulls, but that's not a big priority, it's just clear the, the area around the Sobel is kept ahead. Let's run one over, just for the fun of it. The Ruins of Zulhan. We're not going to do the Black Keep dungeon this time, we're just going to chill around here for a bit and get the Obelisk for further uses. So we already got one weathered skull, two weathered skulls, and we can use maybe the sickle, I think. It was the best chance without getting all the crap. Three weathered skulls right there. Okay, um, let's get the obelisk, first of all. And get on the horse and continue making our way towards the volcano. Uh, we can ignore these skeletons now, otherwise we'll take a long time to fight all of them. And we should have an easy exit through here. Yep, and... That is one of the ways inside the volcano. And it is a way that already has some obsidian nodes, so we can start gathering the gold right away. And there it is, Road of the Pilgrim. And we're not going on a pilgrimage, but we are going on a farming run. Time to unload some of the stuff we have. Let's keep a bunch of obsidian. This stone we definitely won't need. We can put this down here just in case. 
we are going to go deeper into the volcano. Also scouting for a new base location. If you have any ideas, that's also a good thing to post in the comments below. Might come in handy. The poll about the future character will stay on until the end of this day. So midnight EST Sunday. So if you haven't voted yet and you have an opinion, please do stop by the poll. The, the link will be in the description below. And the decision will be made based solely on that. I am removing myself from this decision. Like w whatever the vote says, that's what I'm going to do. I'm happy either way, so that's... You guys are making it hard because it is like at this moment it's 49.51 so that's not that's not a overwhelming opinion to towards one thing or the other so but anyway even if it's just by one percent whatever the poll decides i will respect it let's just climb over here i don't want to go down there and deal with those guys if we just climb this area should have more ob obsidian over here. And check these guys as well. Uh, in terms of thralls, we want crafter thralls and uh, named thralls to put in the crypts, turn them into zombies. It's a bit of a waste, but anyway, that's the character we have right now. And that's what we're going to do. Let's get some light going. This is also good because it's not going to heat us up in the volcano. The torch has that downside. You can can get torches that uh, don't heat you up, but this spell does the same. So as a sorcerer, we shouldn't have too much problems here. And this is the shrine of the oracle. We do have some thralls here, passive thralls that we can see. Devotee is just a warrior. Sorcerer, nothing too special. This guy here you cannot knock down. This is the Yerofant. Uh, An Eferkari is a sorcerer, so always interested in prophecies. Yes. The voices in the well told me you come. A pilgrim seeks wisdom, yes? I am Vathis. Pyrofant of the Volturies of Skelos. Very well. Hierophant of the Volturies of Skelos. Let's see what I you passed. have to say. <laughs> I was a scholar, vizier to the King of Ophir, a royal commission and a round belly. Calamity put me on the road that takes all lost things to these exiled lands. I wandered north, past. Here, I found the well. Here, I founded my cult. When I realized that the voices in the well were the key to salvation, I recruited followers. The devout became the votaries of Skelos. Every night, we cast our offerings into the well. Only I can translate the hissing whispers in the dark. Someday soon, I will puzzle out their riddles and escape these exile lands. In my youth, I happened upon the Book of Skelos. The tome sought after by many and many a sorcerer. I sounded the grim grammar that enslaves the elements, occasions the dead to rise, and summons the demons from the outer dark. In its verses, I saw the chaos. I translated a single syllable of the true name. I 
past? <laughs> All right. That's what Vethi says to say. Let's leave him talking to himself right now. He's just going to repeat himself. He is hinting a lot of the Well of Skelos, so we are going to just take a look. Ice tea for a silver coin. I did have a silver coin for some reason, so uh, I am carrying too much weight. I don't have that much water. That was a mistake. I should have brought more. Spinous the Marauder. Oh, two. Hmm. Two fighters here. We might come back for them. Usually when I am looking for those guys to be my thralls, uh, it's very hard to find them. And right there, there's just two of them sitting, relaxed, knowing that I don't use fighter followers in this playthrough. Guys, Path of the Penitent. Okay, Archer 2, I don't think you can have this fight. Yep. Oh, but they did drop a torso, so these guys can drop iron parts, um, golem parts, which is good to know. I was thinking maybe building the base over there. Using those two peaks, maybe a bridge between them. I have plans to build a big volcano base, but I don't know yet where it's going to be, how it's going to be, so... With my constructions, I like to plan roughly the form I want, the type of base I want. Like with Minimus, I knew I wanted a waterfall and uh, a base in that region. Similar to a villa. Oh, yeah. Well, let's let's take this guy over there. That's so cool. And there's another one there. I don't think it comes this way though. No, I have to jump here. As I was saying, with Minimus, I I knew I wanted like a Roman villa st style of thing, and with this one, I know I want some big towers. High up, maybe those peaks. A bridge spanning that section there might be just a bit overkill. It's too much, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We are at the Well of Skellos. These guys drop some decent, uh, decent loot, like hardened steel web uh, stuff. I'm not sure if they drop star metal, but they definitely drop obsidian, which is really good as well. There's a special archer right there. Okay, I mean this is a good place to get some some golem parts. I had no idea that these guys could drop it. Okay, another named archer. Fall over? Of course you are. So now you can get 
so now you get some stairs on the outside. You can come up here for the next level. Here you have more serpent men. We still want to go a little bit higher. Usually I do it through this area here. You have to climb here a bit. So you also have to have armor that's good enough for you not to be taking heat damage on this area because if you try to climb in those conditions, you're going to have a bad time. I think we can rest up here. Yeah, okay. Can rest up here again. Uh, maybe go sideways here. Yeah, perfect. And we should have it. Well, yep, we have it. And up here, you can learn the Serpent Man weapons. They are very good weapons for their cost. So if you're trying maybe in a PvP server, you can get, uh, or early on on the PV playthrough, you can get very good weapons that don't require a lot of materials. I don't recall exactly what materials they use, I believe it's steel. Okay, so we tried to get up there. Did you, did you... Okay, so we tried to get up there, we don't have enough stamina to do that, that climb. We could come back with some climbing gloves the, that we crafted and left at home. But it, I don't think there's anything too useful up there, so I'm going to just jump down here and go into the Well of Skelos. Still remember the first time I did that, it was very scary. Okay, now... I don't think these guys attack us on sight, the first ones. But as we go down and through the dungeon, I will definitely find some fierce resistance. Ouch, okay, you, this one I have to be careful because there's a one skull guy there and these guys are all quite rough. Oof, that's... Okay, okay. Let's not let this guy go back to his friends. Yep. Okay. They did a good job killing that one skull. Right now, we should be able to just casually... Well, can't open this box. Okay, lightning rod guardian. I do want to put some obsidian near.
All right. Some Argent Steel Shield. Okay. Now, here we do have some good amount of Obsidian. I think it's just Obsidian that you need right here, right? I hope so. It's not only obsidian, it's obsidian with something else. This. Obsidian and this there. I might be missing some knowledge, I'm pretty sure. I'm, well, I'm sure I checked. It's steel bar and obsidian, so... Uh, maybe the recipe from the final boss from this area? Which is down there. I'm not sure what the correct path there. I, I always go the speedrun path, which is just drop all the way there and then just go there. But for this one, I wanted to go the right way. Which seems to be a bit longer. But apparently goes through there. So let's do that. We still have some ice on us. Some salamanders here. That is interesting. I had no idea you could find salamanders all the way in the volcano. My golems are taking quite a beating though. I have to be careful with that. I'm fully prepared to... if they die. I just don't want them to die with some good resources on them. If they die with resources on them, it's going to be bad news for us. But other than that, they are expendable constructs. I like it. I like that with the the golems and the golem pieces being expensive, it makes and the volcano area gains a bit of another importance. Oh, oh, there's a lot of them there. Let's go for this one first. Hope these are a bit weaker. Yeah, these are the weaklings. They just killed the younglings. Oh, but the younglings? Oh, that they were being guarded by the Master Jedi. Take care of those, but they they drop good loot. Steel, Obsidian Sword, Golem Parts as well, some more steel, okay. They drop just as good loot as the, the big ones, so that's interesting to know. Some coin. The boxes are a bit weak, not sure if it's about this dungeon or they got nerfed somehow i don't think there was an update since we went to the den and got a lot of pieces there uh golem pieces there so <laughs> the predatory blade is serving us well here our daggers are almost broken It deals a quite 
bit of damage. Oh, obsidian shield. So cool. There's a box back here. Nothing special. Let's keep trucking. I was really hoping to leave the obsidian crafting while I came down here and fought the boss. So on the way out, I could just pick up the composite obsidian and take it with me. Unfortunately, the recipe should be the ones behind the final boss. And we only get those once we kill the final boss. So there's a lot of snakes running around so let's be careful all right it's a bit of a messy fight but i think we have it good good Are these eggs? Can we grab them? Uh, we gotta get out, out of the lava, dudes. The volcano area is just so so much safer now that the lava just doesn't instantly kill anyone that touches it. This used to be a nightmare to bring thralls to. Okay, this is. This is an interesting zone with all the eggs. I never saw this before. I, this is really cool. Some more soup and some more fake eggs. Okay. I could have left the horse outside in the well of Skellus. Uh, he's not of much use for us here and it would be keeping him safer if we left him there but I think if we're careful enough we'll we'll manage. There's a snake here. send our guys to attack one of them and we go straight for the other that way the both archers are busy hmm. there's a big dude here and some small ones. Let's send. drink here soup soup also gives us water right so we also have that option up here is it there anything useful doesn't look like it I need to explore this a little bit I never explored this dungeon properly I just rush through it but now I feel like Giving it a good shot. Look at this beautiful scenery. It's 
just like these this map is is amazing i like this map so much that i played i love sita for about two minutes when it came out and then i went straight back into the exiled lands because it's just it's just my jam i really like this map such detail i am going to return to i love sita if we go for the other character for the Vindian noblewoman, probably it will be in the Isle of Sipta if we don't if we don't miss out on a lot of content that is only for the exiled lands because it might happen like they talked about fort like they talked about the Stygians building fortresses so if that's just the uh, exiled lands thing we might have to stick around this map. That opened the door. At least it sounded like. So we have to kill this boss to get through this door. Does the door remain open? Can we explore? Let's not risk it. Let's keep going. Okay, there's a bunch more. These guys bleed. Yeah, they bleed and they get poisoned. So just the big ones. Uh, they are immu immune. This place is quite big. I also want to use this opportunity to test out golems. Like golems are great, but since they're max health, since you cannot repair them, uh, I'm just wondering if two iron golems, can I do this full dungeon without too much to worry about? So far, I think, I think they're doing fine. We're also getting a lot of spear pieces to make up for when they die uh, but that I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting to get so many pieces out of these guys well this this one doesn't get poisoned if he really wants to go for the golems I'm not going to mind that at all some climbing boots on the way out we might oh there's some boxes on the way out we might get the try and climb the rest of the tower of skellas the well of skellas or whatever it's called uh, there's another guy here Now, absent, uh, that's going to heat us up a bunch, which for well, the volcano is not an ideal situation. Some cool nooks and crannies around here. Uh, yeah, I have to be careful without stamina here.
take out these daggers it's just so we don't break them all the way we also have this cool looking mace that we can use to So I explored everything on that side. Let's go to the other side. Should be basically the same. Bunch of guys to kill. Explore this side a bit while our guys fight. This is the, the door that opened when the boss died. Okay. I don't think this does any this does anything. But. So this is the last place to go. What's weighing us down? It's the I thought this would be the way. Apparently, it's not. So let's find another way, I guess. Are we supposed to make this jump? Well, it's easy enough to do, so... Yeah, uh... When we do the speed run, we jump from there, cross that lava stream, and then come up this ramp as well. So... And this will be the boss fight. I'm just going to drink something before the boss fight starts. I have to put these guys on an on aggressive. Yeah. 
Alright, me. Just so they react instead of just expecting me to tell them what to do. Yeah. From now on, it should be nice and easy. So this guy stole the stone that the guys from Isle of Sita. Isle of Sita was like a refuge for the uh, old demonic races and this guy stole the stone that they needed to make the all that setup to get some the setup from the to get the mortals into the Isle of Sita to use as slaves and as food. And this guy, that guy over there, stole the, the stone they needed and brought it here. And that's why Isle of Sipta isn't isolated from the world anymore. It's something like that. Don't don't quote me like word to word because I fumbled a lot, first of all. And that is my that is what I know about the Isle of Sipta that you have those vaults one vault for each demonic race one of them is the serpent man and they betrayed the other races by coming here and they found refuge but something's not going too well because they are decaying race close to extinction and we are accelerating that prospect it is quite a difficult boss to do in the speedrun because these guys hit quite a bit uh, if you start getting hit you have no armor on it's kind of challenge, a challenging one and if you don't have a good weapon this guy just dies usually just gets up and dies are you going to do that buddy yep yeah he just gives up on life and he drops the shining through pissy headron and back here it should be a tablet. Yep. So we learned the obsidian stuff right there. Yeah, these chests are really, really weak comparing to Black Tusk Shield. That's a legendary one. It's a legendary one that shows up a lot. It's kind of those kind of legendary stuff. All right. And now. Last time I came here, I tried to get a, get out of the dungeon through that side because hmm, now I wanted to climb that, see what's up there. But I don't think I have stamina enough to do it. Anyway, maybe we can back here with another character to try to climb all the things, make make a climbing character. Well, I was saying last time I went out through that side and it was quite rough and someone in the comments said if you go the other way it's much faster you just jump over a broken bridge or something like that so i'm just going to try it out again as part of the speed run once you kill this boss you just suicide to get to the next next part so this might be the bridge he slasher was talking about and it's impossible to go from there to here Unless you use the bat. Could we use the bat in here? We could do some science. Uh, the bat is deactivated in some areas. Is this one of them? Summon and control demons. Escalate. Yeah. Cannot be summoned in confined environment. It's not that I guess it counts as a confined environment but it's not that confined okay not too bad on the damage side for that fall and we should go back to the the forge the forge is right there the thing with all the the fire lightning going out of it these guys might have respawned by now they have okay so we'll have to fight a bit more.
Easy peasy. Right, let's keep going. Loot some stuff. Uh, Alright. Now, one of you guys has... Well, you can have the golem pieces. Gee, that's a lot of golem pieces. And you can have some more as well. The horse must have that. And I left the obsidian inside the forge, right? Yep. Okay, now we wait for this composite obsidian. Okay, finally done with the composite obsidian. It takes a long time to be looking at this. I'm just going to leave the rest of the obsidian here. It's not needed anywhere else, so... These guys respawned twice while we were uh, waiting. Our guys took, took quite a beating from those guys, like they all ganged up on us in here, uh, which was rough. Now, uh, let's just get out of here. We have what we wanted. I'm not too comfortable these guys walking around with these, especially these torsos. Everything we can we'll put on corpse mirror. And we since we're rocking a encumbrance build we'll take the rest just in case one of them dies. We don't lose the column parts we were collecting throughout this dungeon. Not able to mount here, I don't know why oh because it's a dungeon. Uh we did kill these two just now, so we are going to go up through the portal. Uh we might have to fight our way out. But it is what it is. We might get some more pieces out of it, so. These guys aren't aggressive. To exit the dungeon, we just go here. And through there. Okay. I'm kind of stuck here. Not sure what's happening to my guy. Come on. Seriously. Come on. Jesus. I'm stuck. I cannot. I need to lose both my golems because I'm stuck. Yep, I'm going to lose both my golems. Let's just get some stem uh, cannot get some stamina here <laughs> okay. okay that was unfortunate the game bugged on us uh now what can we do what can we do corpse smear corpse smear is still alive hopefully corpse smear is still alive we have everything on ourselves if we go back, we'll be able to get some more blood crystals out of it. But I don't think the blood crystals are worth it. Going all the way back there. We do have the obelisk. But we would have to put some armor on so we don't die instantly from the heat. Uh, oh, we can summon our body. Okay, okay, let's see what, what it takes for us to summon the body. I've never used that, but if we summon the body, Corpse Mirror will be scouting and should return to base eventually. So right there, I'm not sure what happened. My guy was just sitting still, not returning any stamina, and I just died. Uh, because I couldn't help my golems, they died, and then I died, so... Luckily, I took everything out of the golems, which is really great. And we take all of the stuff. Perfect. Okay, we have everything. There's a lot of stuff still uh, in Corpse Mirror. We'll just have to wait for him to come back. And this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. 
As, as always, comments or suggestions are very welcome on the comments below. Vote on the poll for our next character if you haven't already. Uh, that will decide which one is going to go through if we continue with Neferkari or if we go for the Vendian noblewoman. It's really close right now, but at the end of today, we will have a definitive answer on what to do. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.